Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I am bringing to you my craft fair idea number two. Okay, so what we're going to make is magnetic clothespins. I've packaged them up and I've already made a whole bunch, but I was going to make one pack uh, on camera with you. Um, as you can see, you can kind of see what they look like. I did put magnets on the back and I used the E600 E6000 glue so they would hold really well and um, I used up um, craft paper on both sides tried to use the heavy-duty paper you can get this heavy-duty cardstock over at Hobby Lobby I'm sure you can get it at Michaels too but I got mine at Hobby Lobby but anyway this is what these look like okay so here's the first one I'll just run through and show you really fast what these look like there's the back of this one there we go. Get to the back. This is like my favorite. I love these colors. And this one, a little patriotic. Got some little fun ones. Okay, little Mickey and some fun stuff. Okay. And this one. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to make one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my clothespin and I'm going to use my Mod Podge glue and I'm gonna give it a nice good coating on the top without making a huge mess here. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a really good coating on the top of my thing. Now make sure you get your glue all the way to the edges, okay? Because you want to make sure it doesn't curl up on the edge. Okay, so I'm wiping a little extra glue. Sometimes I'm a little glue crazy. Tape and glue crazy. Okay, so I'm going to use this washi tape. And I chose this one because, you know, like I say, it's a perfect size and I'm just gonna get a pair of scissors and just trim this off now get it on here as straight as you can make sure it's good and sealed on there and just trim off the end and trim off the end this is the easiest project now these were time-consuming because I made so many but that's okay. Okay, so see what it's looking like. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna, and fun. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna Mod Podge the top. It goes on the little white, but when it dries, it is um, clear. So get it on the edges really good. And that's what it will look like. Okay, so let me close up the glue. And what I did as far as the magnets for the back, once it dried, um, let me see if I can find some. I don't really have any more, but let me just show you the back of these. I bought a roll of magnet, and it comes like in a roll. You buy in the craft section, and I just cut little pieces, and I used the E6000 glue, and I glued it on the back. So once these dried, then I went and I put, put the magnets on the back. And then I let these dry for like several days. I just left them on my, my table and I just let them dry for several days. And so that's how come they turn out like this, very smooth. You can barely feel that I put anything over them. Okay, so you can kind of see that. Okay, so now that you, once you have all your clothespins done, you're gonna make yourself some little packages of them like this. So I'm gonna show you how I packaged mine and let me get this glue out of the way. Okay, so I saved saved some of these and I what whenever I let them dry, let me go back to this. When I let them dry, I also stuck them on little pieces of like cardboard or whatever. That way then they wouldn't be falling over and they would dry dry really good. And so that's kind of how I how the system I came up with. So we're gonna package up these. 
Now, I can't really give you dimensions. I know that this one is like a five and a fourth by four and a fourth, four, four and a fourth by five and a fourth. And then this one is just like five, like a five inch by four inch. It's like just a tad smaller than there because you want it to kind of overlap and have some little pretty design on it. And what I did on this one, I went ahead and I just used the same paper and I put it on the front and back. You can do whatever you like. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I got myself a one inch strip of, of the cardstock and I took it and I just kind of measured it over my cardstock that's going to be on the front. You can use your scoring tool, but I did start doing that and I felt like this is so much just as easy. So I just kind of measured it over my paper like this. And then I just used my where did my bone folder go? There it is. My scoring tool. Give it a good crease down. Okay. So you don't want it too much where it's curled. So anyway, so as you see, now it's looking like this. And you can score this if you want, but I found just going up about an eighth of an inch and just folding it again worked out just fine. Instead of having to score it, I just folded it up about an eighth of an inch so it would give me that little, like this, a little piece on the side. I'm going to do this on this side. I'm going to crease it down. Okay, so now this is what we're going to put our clothespins on. Okay, so I'm going to get my trusty double-sided red tape. And I am going to... I'm going to put my tape just on the back of each end, not on the crease, on the outside of the crease, because you're gonna, you wanna use something good and sturdy so it stays on behind. Now I have, I think that I, um, you could use a stapler if you want to staple these on, but I didn't want the staples on there. So I'm just using this tape, I'm gonna get it peeled off. And this is very sturdy where your your clothespins are gonna stay on. Okay, so you got this. It's looking like this. I'm gonna put it over the edge. Leave yourself about maybe a little more than a, a little about an inch or so from the bottom. And you're gonna go ahead and have it sealed down. And then I'm going to use take the other one. And I'm going to make sure I try to get it as even as I can. That way I've made myself a little thing to clip my paper, my uh, clothespins on. I don't want to call them paper clips. I keep thinking paper clips. They're clothespins. Hello. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this one. And I am going to get it stuck down to my designer paper. You can use any paper you want. You can use solid paper all along the thing if you want. But I kind of thought it's fun just to use some designer paper on the back just to get some 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 uh, nice design on it. Okay. It's real important to get some double-sided tape or glue on the sides where you put the tabs because you don't want them to come you don't want these to come off. Okay, so I'm gonna get this on here. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna need. Make sure this is pressed down really good. You see, I didn't get that very straight, but it's all good. It's tape and it's underneath. So I'm gonna get these peeled off. This is a great scrap box buster. If you have a bunch of scraps in your stash, you can use this, this for your scraps. Okay, so I've got my, my uh, front paper and I am just going to try to center this down the best that I can. And then I'm just going to get it stuck down and it's gonna look kinda like this. 
You can add as many clothespins or as less as you want. I just did five. So I just thought five was a good number. So I'm going to get my clothespins. And I think I'm going to try to do, because I have three reds and two blacks. So I'm going to try to do them like red, black, red, black, red, black. So that, I think that's the color I'm going to go with. So you're going to put your paper clips all the way down where they're like as close to the hinge as you can get it. And you're gonna just line them up, give them a good little space in between, depending on how big you've cut your paper. Now, all everybody, if you do yours, like don't do as many clothespins on yours, you might make your paper smaller, but my dimensions were five, five and a fourth by four and a fourth. Okay, and just make sure one so that's what it's gonna look like okay so I went ahead I went ahead and I have made a little tag to put on the front I'm calling them my crafty magnetic clothespins so I've already got that down I put it on a piece of red cardstock to just kind of make it pretty and give it more stability and I'm gonna give it some Give it some double-sided tape, or you can use your glue. This would be a great thing for you to use maybe, um, I don't know, any kind of really heavy-duty glue. And you're just going to get this down here the best that you can. Try to center it the best you can. So this is what it's looking like. So now once you've got that, I'm just gonna package it up. Now I have I had these clear bags. I got these off of clearbags.com and I got these like a year ago. So I don't know the number, but these kind, let me see, let me get my, I wanna see if I can measure and tell you how big these were. Um, flip that over. This one looks like it is six by, maybe like six by six. And then you have your flap at the bottom with the adhesive, and it worked out perfectly. These have a little hanging tab. Now, if you don't want to use those, you can cut that off. I think I'm going to leave it on there because I might get something to kind of hang them so that way they can hang in my booth. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the seal in the back. So I'm going to flip these over. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to slide it in because you want to put your the seal the part that you seal up this part you want to put in the back just come I mean it's preference but um, you just want it to be really pretty so I'm gonna see if I could peel this off I looked at my stash and I was like okay let me look through my stash of, of my bags because I ordered so many last year and I got them so cheap um, let me see if I have anything that fits, and I had just enough. And there you go. This is exactly how I would package these. They're in their safe. They look pretty. It's totally 100% handmade, and it's just fun. And you'll be able to use these, like if you want to just paper or a clothespin something like together in your. If you have papers you want to put together, you want to hang them on your fridge, whatever you want to do. But anyway, um, yeah, this is them. I think they're really cute. So here, let me just show you again. Here's a few that I've done. And um, I hope that you give these a try because these are really fun. Like I said, they can be a little time consuming if you're making a bunch at one time. But if you're only making like one pack, it's not gonna take you very long. But um, here, this is what I've got and uh, this is what I made. and. This was my next idea for my craft fair series. So craft idea number two. I can check that off the box, off the uh, list. But anyway, so here you go. This is what I made. So I'm gonna quit rambling on. Hopefully I'm not rambling too much. If I am, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, um, craft idea number three is coming real, real soon. I have already written down like 25 things that I'm going to do for this craft fair series. Maybe more if I come up with them. But um, anyway, I'm going to share all these with you, and I hope that you like them. Maybe they inspire you to do them for your craft fair or just make them as a craft or something you might want in your house. 
Um, anyway, so I hope that you like my video and I hope that um, that you like it enough where you will subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and give me a like or give me a comment. That'd be wonderful. Um, I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, until my next video, see you later, y'all. Bye.